Yo, what is up guys? This is Nick Mirror from Internet Money and today I'm going to be making a 21 Savage type beat for y'all. You know, something along the lines of Savage Mode or Slaughter King, those tapes, you know. Real concept with these 21 Savage type beats is simple melody, really dark with some hard drums, but nothing too complex that'll go over your head, you know. A lot of space for the artist to rap on. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, before the video, I just made this melody in Omnisphere real quick using this piano. Just to save some time, I'm going to let y'all hear this real quick. You know, nothing too complex, real dark. So uh, now I'm going to open up Nexus, and I'm actually going to layer this same pattern but I'm going to use a pad just to add to the melody so I'm going to go to pads I'll just scroll around until I find something I like I like this one but it has too much highs or too much high end I'm going to try cutting off some I like this, so I'm gonna keep it like this. All right, so now once I got that, I'm gonna start adding some uh, drums. So first off, I'm gonna lay out an 808 pattern. And I bring my 808s octaves up so I can hear the actual pitch of the note instead of just trying to guess down low where I can't hear it. And so by doing this, when I bring the note down an octave, the pitch will be right and you won't hear all the wobbling and all the low end of the 808 and melody just mixing together. So, yeah. velocities all the way up and if you're wondering how I how I did that right there I just control a to select all notes and then I just left click the notes and then scrolled up on the mouse scroller notes to the playlist actually or not the playlist the piano roll for y'all so when we put these uh patterns in the playlist and we have this excess that's over here instead of this it's going to be short so when we're scrolling through we won't hear the clap hit over here i'm going to right click this layer press e on the keyboard and then c to copy right click here e p these 
no switch up here. I'm thinking that's what I want to go for. So I'm going to hold control, select these, and then click Alt and Y, or type Alt Y together to flip them. Now I want them to flip horizontally. So I'm just going to check this one. Or not horizontally, you know, vertically. So I want this A5 to be a G minor and then this G minor to be A5. So click that. Now a thing I like to do to give my uh, hi-hats bounce is I like them to roll when an 808 or kick hits. So it makes it uh, sound like the kicks or 808s are doing more. So right here I might do a sixth chop. I'm gonna click to snap the grid, sixth beat, chop this up. So I want to chop up this right here. I'm going to hold control, select this, then type in Alt U. It's going to bring up the chopper. Time multiplier is 0.5. And I want to cut this little bit off because when you listen to this right here, this last note, it just continues. It sounds like one big note. And if I cut it off, there's a little break in between the chop and the actual next note. So it sounds like it just, there's just more bounce to it. So I'm gonna hold control, delete these, hold control, select all of this, and then control B to actually repaste that over in the seventh and eighth bars. I'm gonna switch some of these uh, notes up just to give it more variation. So now I'm gonna add a kick. I'm just gonna go grab a kick real quick. I'm gonna use a kick from the uh, the new MJ Nichols Gaviria drum kit. It's on drumselect.com right now if you're interested in purchasing it. I think I believe it's thirty dollars and just a bunch of sounds in here. Most of the drums I'm using in this video are in this kit, by the way, too. I like this kick, so I'm just gonna drag it over. Put this away. I'm going to turn use loop points off because I don't want them to loop over. And now I'm going to copy this 808 pattern and then paste it on the kick pattern. Again, right click E, C, right click E, P. And I want all these kicks to hit on the same level, so I'm going to hold control, click D5, get all these notes, shift down. Same for all these notes too. And I'm going to go here, down, go here down up here control down to bring it the octave down all right so for kicks one thing metro Boomin does on savage mode for instance is put two kicks after each other but 
where the first kick and 808 hit, he'll actually remove the kick to give it more bounce. So I'm gonna let y'all hear what that sounds like right here. It's like the da da. It puts more emphasis on the second one. So next off, I'm going to add a second snare in the background just uh, to add to the drums. So I'm going to copy this kick layer, right click E, C again, right click E, P. And I'm going to go to the snare 2. I'm going to bring the velocity all the way down by left click, hold, scroll all the way down. And I'm going to just bring this lower so I can use these as ghost notes like you see here in the background. So where the kick hits this just lets me know where to put the snare so I don't have too many of them clipping with the kick. Again, I'm going to use Alt-U, and I'm going to chop these, and then I'm just going to delete this last note. I'm just going to start adding some more perks to fill in the drums for blank spaces when I hear them. Like the drums are done but 
I feel like the melody is a bit repetitive, so I'm gonna add some more layers to change the sound of it. So I'm gonna open up Keyscape, maybe lay a piano on top of it. I feel like this beat is done you know I got the organ I can put in during the hook and take out during the verse I got this keyscape piano for the uh, verse or not for the verse for the hook I mean got this Nexus pad I can put for the verse only and then maybe switch with the piano so the main thing in these um, defining the hooks and the verses I just like to have more instruments playing during the hook and then less during the verse so you can tell what's what and it'll really set them apart so now i'm going to send all these to the mixer and let's get into mixing them so i'm going to hold left click drag down go mixer insert 10 right click starting from this track i'm going to do the same with the melodies but i actually want these melodies first so i'm going to highlight omnisphere then hold alt on my keyboard and then right click or I'm gonna click up on the arrows so alt up and then I'm gonna do the same with Nexus and I'm gonna copy these and then put them in here I'm gonna start off with my kick I feel like this 808 is kind of dry, I might add some distortion on it, just a little bit. One thing I'm noticing with this hi-hat is I feel like it's it drags on too long and the tail is too long. So I'm going to open up the step sequencer for the hi-hat, this little uh, sampling track over here. 
I'm going to bring the out up to reduce this tail end over here. Sounds right. For this uh, Keyscape piano, I want it to be really faint in the back. I barely want it to be audible, but when it's there, I want you to... You'll know it's there, but you just can't pick it out, so... I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna add some reverb on it. Turn the dry all the way down, turn the wet up. Maybe dry a little more. Decay up. Let's try an octave down again. It sounds better. And I want this to be wider, so I'm going to open a plugin um, called Isotope Ozone Imager 5. Or Isotope Ozone 5 Imager. It's pretty wide as it is, but let's see how it sounds wider. So I'm going to click Stereoize. And bring these knobs up. I'd say it sounds good, but there's a bit frequency right here. It's kind of harsh, so I'm just going to scroll down to reduce this or to narrow the pattern that I'm bringing down. And then I'm just going to lower this. One thing I'm noticing with the organ is I feel like the the release is very short. It sounds kind of dry, so I'm just going to add some delay on it. I'm going to put the time to uh to fourths to four, and then I'm going to turn the volume down. And I think I might add just one more sound for the hook, just to give it more pop. I'm gonna go to this VST called Expand. It's like a dollar, so if y'all want it, y'all can go get it from Expand. Or it did. You got a bunch of sounds in here. I'm gonna open up this flute, see if we can get a pattern laid down. I'm gonna send this to the mixer. Control L while clicking over here. Control L and then lower this.
to open up gross beat on this flute see if we can get some different patterns going for it So yeah, now I think the beat is full, it just needs to be raised by the master volume, so I'm going to open up Fruity Multiband Compressor, I'm going to right click over here the arrows to open up presets, or you can go over here, presets, and I'm going to pull up Mastering 6, or Mastering 2.4 I mean, and then just raise the gain till it sounds right and it's not clipping. Well, it won't be clipping because the limiter is set, but if if you take this limiter off, it's going to clip. So keep the limiter on, and let's just bring up the gain until it sounds right. Alright, I feel like the mix is done, so now I'm gonna go into patterns, split by channel, and go into the playlist, type in one on the keypad, put this pattern in. I'm actually gonna press P on the uh, keyboard to pull up the pointer. P, or let me check this off. Now I can switch through tools. Alright, so P, pointer one, dragged in, then I'm gonna press the plus key there plus key plus key plus key so on so on this will save you a lot of time laying out patterns Control B, Control A, Control B, and I'm just gonna. Now that I have all these patterns laid out, I'm just gonna structure the whole beat. Nick Mira 